A scripture reading today is found in Matthew's Gospel, Gospel chapter 10 and verse 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. We are living in days where there is a great fear. Fear of what's happening in the world with the COVID virus and the economy, etc. A fear of death, a fear of transmitting the virus, a genuine fear of the future, what it holds for our families. Many people today, however, don't fear God. They're even brazen enough to say that there is no God and to live lifestyles as if God doesn't exist. People are now more afraid of the government's laws than they are of a holy God and his laws. We have to realise that we are to one day have a God to meet and we can meet him in our sins or we can meet him with our sins forgiven. God has given all judgment unto his son, the Lord Jesus. You can meet him in this day of God's grace as your saviour or you can meet him one day as your judge. In Revelation chapter 20 it reminds us that I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it whose face the earth and the heaven fled away and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead small and great stand before God and the books were opened and another book was opened which is the book of life and the dead were judged out of those things which are written in the books according to their works. This great white throne judgment is for those who have died without Christ in their sins and they will stand before the judge of all the earth, the Lord Jesus. They will be judged according to their works and be eternally lost. The believer will not be in this judgment. This is only for the unsaved, the unbelievers, the Christ rejectors. As Christians today, we shouldn't be afraid of man. The Bible tells us that the fear of man bringeth a snare. A snare. We are to fear the judge of all the earth. The Bible says, fear God and keep his commandments. Even some Christians in these days of lockdown fear ma- man more than they fear God. Imagine afraid to have a Sunday school. Imagine afraid to invite strangers in to your church. Imagine afraid to have a prayer meeting. As the days grow even darker in this world, this is not a time to bend. We need to fear God and stand strong in God's promises and his power and his protection and his provision and his providence. He's in control. Have faith in God. Believe his word. The Lord Jesus was judged on the cross for your sins and mine. And if he was judged there for my sins, then we have no judgment to fear. First Peter 2 verse 24 reminds us, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree. Dear friend today, trust the Lord Jesus Christ as your own and personal saviour and you too will be saved, you'll be safe, you'll be ready to meet God. May the Lord bless and keep you all safe today for his name's sake. Amen.